Hi everyone, what is up? I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Oh, I miss you guys so much. So this is my update from cosmetology school. So what's up? Where have I been? Um, I'm just at home. <laughs> I'm really sorry if I wasn't able to make a video for two weeks. That is terrible. I don't want um, to do that to you guys, but life happens and sometimes I feel like when your brain is functioning, it's even more tiring for some reason. So what are the things that I have learned so far from school? How are my classmates? How is my professor or teacher? Um, um, Nothing really crazy, nothing really, you know, um, dramatic that has happened so far. But we are already in the texture part. Um, it's more of like the perming. And then we also ran through, uh, ran through, um, discussed about like the um, chemical straightening. And actually, um, we tried to perm my hair, but my hair broke. See that short little thing? This is where we did the strand, the strand test and it literally <laughs> broke my hair is like, I don't want to stand up because I don't have a bra so I don't want you guys to like see my, you know, my soul here. <laughs> but it broke, we did a strand test and it didn't um, make it, my hair didn't make it. I felt so sad because I've been wanting perms for a really long time now. I feel like it has been 10 years since I got my hair permed and so that failed. So, the last time I was at school, let me show you my hair. We did a little, another thing with my hair. Of course, I feel like if you're at cosmetology school, there is no way it's going to be, um, your hair is going to be looking the same every now and then, but, um, I may not make any sense, so I do apologize. Ah, my nails. Okay. So, I decided to just take out the red because it's so hard to maintain. I know for a fact that there are like color deposits that you can buy off the market, but like red is just, I don't like it when it turns rusty. So what we did last time, me and my professor, um, she taught me how to, um, it's like a bleach wash. So it was like super quick. Uh, the purpose of that one is to just take the, the color that I have and um, if you have a customer that has box dye, that's something that you would do. Mine is not a box dye, but like it's just um, a way to strip out like the, the color that's in there. So it went back to a little light blonde, I would say. And then I just used a color deposit. Why do I look like a ghost in the video? I just used a color deposit for my hair, which is mocha. And this is what it looks like. I know it's a little funny right now, but um, I'm actually loving the chocolate color. And the reason why I just decided to do this one is because it is, you know, it's not hard to maintain. And I feel like the caramel color, like the chocolatey color, is a type of color that I can, you know, I like how it looks even though I don't have any makeup on, I would say. And uh, that's that. So far, that's what we did. So the perm failed. And uh, I also <laughs> got my nails done by a student. Thankfully, it doesn't really look like a boulder, you know? Um, I was actually her second time <laughs> doing like a full set, but let me show you. I just painted it. I'm the one that painted this and shaped this because they can only do state boards. So this was like a square. And I'll probably insert like a little mini footages of um, that, but um... Okay, so this is what it looks like. I do apologize if my nails look disgusting and scary, but as you can see, it is so square. But I actually am impressed even though she's it's just her second time doing like a set. But yeah, that's the reason why I decided to like make it almond shape and put a nail polish on it. She did good, though I can still see, of course, more improvement. She's just a student. Why am I being, why am I critiquing her? But um, she did really good for a student. Let me just put it that way. And then what else? Uh, I actually love all my classmates. They are just, you know, even though it's like different personalities, I really do think that I have been blessed when it comes to professors and when it comes to students because they're not dramatic at all. I don't see anybody arguing with anyone at all. 
there was just this one student that I feel like, it, it's not even, she's not Cosmo, but um, I just feel like this um, student has like a super strong personality, like she's, I don't want to say it because it's like it's so easy to narrow down, but um, she's not there anymore <laughs> and she's not even my classmate, why am I even bothering? But uh, anyway, um, all my classmates, they are amazing, my teachers, they are really nice and sweet, especially the freshman class, I'm in still freshman, so I actually thought that um, this would be my last week as a freshman, but unfortunately, um, from 320 hours, they have switched it back again to 350 hours. So after that, that's the only time that you can take in clients. So after you, uh, when you step into junior, you will take clients for a very long time, like months. And then after that, probably like a month or two, you will just concentrate or like state board, state board, state board. That's pretty much it. So yeah, what else? <laughs> the restroom in the whole school, it got broken. So if you want to use the restroom, you're going to go to Denny's. <laughs> so yeah, I just want you guys to know that everything is great. Everything is fine. And um, you know what? Just a little update of me about like me not buying anything for a really long oh wait wait oh my gosh so my bank account got compromised which is funny because out of all the times that my bank is gonna get compromised it's the time that I don't even have a job so some some somebody tried to use my card in an auto shop and I received a text from my bank stating that, oh, um, uh, is this you? And I was like, at first, I actually thought it was more of like the text scam. But I went ahead and looked again, and then I compared the number, compare I, I just did a research on it, okay? So my teacher told me that you should call your bank. So I did. I felt like I spent like 30 minutes of my life talking to the bank teller because it's such a process, right? So the whole weekend, I don't even have a card and I don't want to use my credit card because there's already something to pay for in that card if I make any sense. I don't want to add into it. So that's that, which is sad. Um, I actually got scared of that. Like, who would do that to me? Like, crap. And I am... I don't know how were they able to get that information because I'm the type that will literally not save anything at all in a web browser or it, like if I have mail I'll make sure that I rip it to shreds like it's scary okay so yeah that's that whole weekend I don't have any card and I don't want to use my credit card for anything at all and yeah um yeah <laughs> Okay, let's talk about me, about me, my no-buy game. How was it? So my no-buy game, guys, you won't believe, it's still good, and I'm still doing it. So I think the last time I purchased makeup was like what? I love, it's so long, I can't even, is it five months or four months or something like that? I don't know, maybe more than five months already. I can't tell, but... How do I feel about it? Like, I see all these amazing releases, and sometimes I do feel sad. But now that I'm not buying any makeup, I feel like I appreciate all of the makeup that I have here with me. Like, it is insane. I've been looking at some other palettes here, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't even used this palette. And then I'm, like, enjoying it. Though I don't really wear makeup all the time when I go to school. I just don't like it. And, um... They're pretty much, pretty much used to my face not having any makeup, so I like it that way. And, yeah, like, literally, I don't even... Okay, there are a lot of palette releases, like the Jeffree Star one, the Morphe, and then the, the other Jeffree Star one, and then uh, ColourPop been releasing these cute little, you know, makeup, and MAC been releasing these cute little... There's so many things. I even want to buy like the Benefit. You know, every year they have like that six uh, blush contour palette all in one. The Cheek Leader, is that it? I really want to buy that. But then again, like, I really wanted to enjoy what I have. That's what I noticed. I feel like I have so much makeup. Some of them I haven't even used, which made me feel really sad. Um, yeah, I love it. You guys should try it. Um, I'm not urging you guys to like, I'm not forcing you to do it, but um, I feel very, 
How do I explain it? I feel... <laughs> I don't know what to say, but uh, it's such a nice feeling to see that I feel like I'm not short with money when it comes to because every time I have like salary back then I would like buy 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 though it is my passion I absolutely love it but um yeah for the meantime I just really want to use everything I have so my evil plan is is that I'm just going to wait for Cyber Monday and then you know me not buying for months is not gonna make any sense when I shop my heart out on Cyber Monday but then again like if I shop on Cyber Monday it's gonna be on a great deal right so that's what I'm gonna do so I'm keeping it together I don't really spend that much when it gets, you know what's weird I love makeup but every time I'm in Marshalls and I see something that I like oh my gosh I'll never see this again or whatever I have good control now I don't know what happened to me, but um, I'm scared that I'm starting to fall out of love when it comes to makeup, and, eh, but I think that's not going to happen, but uh, I really love it. Um, I would say that I am definitely not a makeup addict anymore, but I'm still passionate about it, like the artistry and all of that, you know what I mean? Now this is what I'm scared of. I feel like I love clothes back then, and now I'm starting to like it again, so I feel like that's where... Um, my little sexy money gonna go now. So, yeah. Uh, what else? Okay. And I also have, oh my gosh, it's like we're catching up, like, all throughout. I actually put all of the items that I have finished in this little laundry basket because I just want to show you guys all of the things that I have used up completely. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick them randomly one by one. Let's start with this Johnson's Bedtime Lotion. So, I know for a fact that this one has like an oil version of it, does it? I know there, I know there is. Now, the reason why I buy this is because I just really love the smell. Now, when it comes to moisturizing the skin, this is not like, um, it's not that moisturizing, okay? It's a lotion, but it's not that moisturizing. I don't know if I make any sense. But this one really relaxes me and helps me to sleep. Every time I take a bath at night or like a little shower, and I put this on, I feel like, wow. Like, I feel amazing, I feel clean, I feel sexy, and I just, I just love it. I just love it. It's like, um, I love it. I feel like the scent is so attractive. I know it's for babies, but like, I just really feel like the scent is, you know, attractive. I'm definitely repurchasing this. I know there are a lot of better lotions out there, but I truly, truly, truly love this one. So, moving on to the next one. I was holding this earlier. I don't know why I dropped it and <laughs> picking it up again. This is the Pond's Age Miracle Facial Wash. I don't have any facial wash right now to tell you honestly. I'm just using a bar of soap. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's bad. It is bad, but um, when I go to Ulta, when I go back to Ulta, I'll definitely purchase like a really good one because... I really want to invest on skincare. I don't want to buy like whatever skin, uh, whatever facial wash because if you use a facial wash anyway, it takes months for you to finish it. Sometimes not even months, you know? It could take a year or more than a year. So this one is, is Pond's, but it's, um, I believe that you can only buy this in an Asian country. So uh, my sister is actually the one that sent this to me. So thank you so much, Tata. If you're watching this, I could have had two. You know, just kidding. <laughs> I'm so ungrateful. But yeah, um, it's Age Miracle. Um, what can I say? I feel like every time I use this, my face gets tighter. Um, probably because, I don't know, for whatever reason. But uh, this one smells so good as well. And what I like about this product is that I can't say that my wrinkles are gone. Of course, I don't have any wrinkles yet. But I do feel like it does the job when it comes to really cleaning my skin thoroughly. So I don't even use a makeup remover anymore. Every time I use this, I just put it in the palm of my hand, wet a little bit, lather it, and then that's it. Like, it does the job very well for me. So when it comes to anti-aging aspect, I can still see how it lifts the skin, but I really do like it because, again, like, it cleans my skin thoroughly. So, that's that. Now, I have another, uh, this one, you can buy it in an Asian store, like Ranch 88, Seafood City, and this is the Cream Silk Standout Straight Conditioner. 
why do I use this? Because it smells so freaking good. Like, okay, I feel like if you use this one, you don't even need a perfume. Like, this is it. Like, this is your scent. It smells florally, but it's the type of floral scent that's not sl that is not slutty, you know? Like, it just smells very nice. And this one, it makes your hair a little bit straight. And can I tell that my hair is, you know, every time I use this, do I feel it? Yeah. I really do think that it really does make my hair straight every time I use this. It says here up to four times straighter hair, which does what it's supposed to. I feel like every time I use this, my hair feels like super soft and super silky, super shiny for some reason. But um, I ran out of it. The reason why I don't buy like a lot of these is because these could be like expensive here in America. I feel like it is priced like five times or sometimes like eight times more, which is redonkulous, but it is what it is. So let me set that aside. Now this one, um, it's from the brand Dighty of Hair. It is called their Plant Shampoo for Hair Loss. Now I have this one for a really long time. I don't know why it took me years or a year or two to finish this up. Oh wait, I still have a little, like a tiny bit. I think if I put water, let me put this, don't, let me not throw this. It's good for like one more use. So this is the plant shampoo. What it does is that it stops hair loss and it's perfect for black hair, thickens hair, helps healthy papilla, hair bulb, and follicles, accelerates healthy hair growth. Now, I won't say that this is not effective at all, but to me, when I was using this consistently, I feel like um, my hair has been healthier for some reason. I'm not like just because what it, I feel like every time I try something like completely organic, I always feel nice. It's like when you do something organic, when you eat it, you feel nice. I feel like it's the same when you use something like organic and natural on the outside, you, you feel good, you know? So I'm still gonna use this one. Am I going to repurchase this? I can see myself repurchasing this because hair loss is definitely like one of my, <laughs> you know, one of my problems. I feel like half of my head is like going away every time I wash my hair. Uh, I got to trim, by the way, like that. Because my teacher is like, we really need to trim your hair. And I was like, I don't want to trim it. And then she said, like, we really need to trim your hair because it's full of split ends. If you don't cut it, it's not going to grow. I was like, okay. Okay. But it's still, um, the length, when, when I put my hair in the front, it's still, like, under my boob, which is nice. So it means it's still quite long. And I also finished this Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. Now, believe it or not, why is it not focusing? Come on, come on! Oh my gosh. Um, it's not focusing. But, um, hmm. Okay, it's the glycolic foaming cleanser. And I don't, the last time, I'm not even making this up. I think the last time I bought Mari Badescu was like five or four years ago, and it was the facial mist. So, why is the camera blinking? It's the facial mist. So this glycolic fo uh, fo So as I was saying, the last time I purchased Mario Badescu was probably like five or four years ago. And the reason why is because I feel like Mario Badescu... Okay, I'm not trying to like burst your bubble or anything like that. It's, it's pretty basic for me. When you read the ingredients, I feel like I want something more. I'm not saying that it's bad, but they do have some items that are good, and they do have some items that are just like okay. So now, for this glycolic fo a foaming cleanser, I do notice a little bit of difference. I feel like um, this is glycolic. I felt like uh, my face is brighter every time I use it, but if I use it every day, I feel like on the sides of my nose, it gets like irritated. So. That's that. Will I repurchase this? No, I want something that's like more lathery. This one doesn't lather as much, but uh, I'm not a fan of this one. I want to try their seaweed moisturizer. Is that it? Okay. And then I only have like a few items left. So I have. Ooh, what's this goo? What the heck? Okay. Anyway, let me just use this shirt. It's dirty, anyways. I have the It Confidence Inner Cream. Surprisingly, I bought, I got, I didn't bought this. I got something from It Cosmetics, 
and this was actually a gift at Sephora for like it's like my points and stuff so I just decided to get it this is what I got comes in a small pot and you know what this is actually pretty good I feel like there is such a huge difference in my face every time I use it but I noticed that when I stop using this I feel like my my face changes changes back the way it used to be I feel like it's a little dull but every time I use this I feel like my face is lifted for some reason I feel like it's just glowy okay it's not like super greasy or anything like that but it's it's nice it's dewy on the skin but don't overuse this because you're gonna look like you know you can fry on your face it's um it's nice just use like a very tiny bit of it and it will go like a long way I really like what my um, I really like what this does on my face I feel like it's it's smoother it's brighter it's like nice and dewy even if you don't wear any makeup it's cool and then now this one you can only buy this in the Philippines too maybe in other Asian countries this is a partner it's the Pons Flawless Radiance Derma plus it has a plus at the end so I have been I know okay this is a drugstore brand okay but in the Philippines it's more of like a little considered as like a high end but I've been using this for like forever I can't even the only time I wasn't able to use this is when I moved here but this is amazing um, for the day cream it kinda leaves like a little white cast into it but the night cream is amazing you wake up in the morning and you feel like your skin is just so refreshed and I feel like um Sorry about that, my saliva just went. Okay, so the day cream, it has SPF 15 into it. I feel like it makes your skin a little brighter, a little... I feel like my cheeks are, like, rosy. And that's what, like, you know, Filipinas prefer, like, rosy cheeks or something. Or maybe it's different now because I feel like a lot of Filipinos are embracing being morena. But then again, like, choosing to having white skin, I don't want to argue on that because it's a personal preference, okay? Like, for example, if you want to be you know whatever I, I would fully respect that if you want to be tan I fully respect that like whatever makes anybody happy like I don't have a say on that because it's not me whatever makes you happy so this one it has a little bit of lightning into it like white blah, whitening into it so I guess that really helped a lot when it comes to I have pimples like from time to time and sometimes I have like the feeling of just like literally like popping it up. I don't know why I do that. I know it's gonna leave a scar, but I still do it anyway. So this one really helps a lot fade it out. So again, it is the Pons Flawless Radiance Derma Plus. I'm not sponsored, but most of my skincare products is from the Philippines. Even though some of them are drugstore, I, re I really think that there is such thing as made for Asian skin. Maybe that's just me, but I really love it. I really, really love it. And my sister would be like, oh my gosh, you're so cheap, but I I really do love them. So yeah, that's that. I love the day cream and the night cream. Really makes such a huge difference. I feel like my face is brighter. I feel like it's more, you know, I love it. When it comes to the anti-aging aspect on that one, I'm not so certain. Because again, like I, I still, unfortunate, uh, unfortunate. <laughs> fortunately, I still don't have any wrinkles. Thank you, baby Jesus. And then I also have their Pons Flawless Radiance Derma Perfecting serum now for the perfecting serum i'm gonna be honest with you guys i can't really tell if there's any difference or not if there's any changes in my face i've been using it consistently all together with a day and night cream or sometimes before i go to bed um i would use this if i don't feel if i don't want a lot of things in my face like for example during the day i would sometimes even use it alone I know that if you use a serum, you have to put like a moisturizer on top of it to seal it in. But there are times that I would use this alone. Um, it's not bad. It gives my skin like that really nice moisturized finish, you know. And best part is that it doesn't run. It doesn't run through my eyes and hurt me. Because this one, I noticed this moisturizer specifically from IT. It goes into my eyes for some reason. And I'm like, uh, uh, you know. But yeah, these three my go-to as well as this but um, I still have the Pons moisturizer set um, here with me but it's more of like in the red packaging somebody waved at me mm, 
Who's that? I don't know you. <laughs> okay, so, and the last item, I'm including it here. This is only good for one use, is the Skin Food Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. So, I remember when I was younger, when you live in the Philippines, it's a little... Everything is a little more expensive as it seems. Or maybe that's just me, because <laughs> I'm Kuripot. Um, this was 500 pesos back then. I'm not so sure how much does it cost now, but it's not. it doesn't seem to be like a drugstore in the Philippines because they do have their own store. I, I've seen, I went to LA and I saw that they do have their own store, you know, which is cute and nice. All of their stuff, from um, this brand, from Skin Food, is just super cute. I can't even stress that enough. Everything is just so cute. I feel like Skin Food is in the middle of, um, it's in the middle of like a high end and drugstore. I would say because their products, their blushes are like what ten dollars, and then some of the drugstore blushes are like what five dollars, right? Sometimes even cheaper than that. But anyway, going back to this one. I love leaving this on to my face as a mask and sometimes when I don't have the patience I just go ahead and have it on my face and use it as my exfoliator for the week so I exfoliate twice a week I don't miss it and I try my best not to miss it if it's not two times at probably like once a week there's absolutely no way I'm not going to exfoliate every time I exfoliate my skin I feel like it reveals the very best of my skin that's just how i feel it is it could be different from other people but that's that and i would not also advise this um sugar mask wash off or scrub to anybody who has sensitive skin i'm very aggressive when it comes to my face you have no idea i, l I know that it's advisable to like do that but no i that's how I wash my face. That's just me, okay? Don't do that. Just do it like an upward motion, circular motion, whatever's just like gentle. But this one, I feel like if you have you are sensitive, it will have the tendency to scratch your skin. I don't know. That's just how I feel. But uh, I love, I love the way this one, you know, scrubs my face, and it literally smells like sugar and honey all together, which is absolutely nice. So that is pretty much it for today, guys. I know it has been a very long video. I appreciate you guys joining me today and listen to my nonsense. Thank you guys so much for all your support and just for listening, basically. And I miss you guys so much. And please, please just follow me on Instagram at the Asian Persuasion if you haven't followed me yet. The link will be down below. And subscribe to my last. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Love you. That was my foot.